it's I, I just recently saw this one on, on Overclocked Remix, even though it's about six months old, and I think it's freaking awesome. So hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, shout out to Ryder. Uh, I always enjoy enjoy playing games with him. Uh, he's a much better player than me, and he's also usually willing to sit down with me afterwards and explain all the stuff that I did wrong, <laughs> which is incredibly helpful. Um, really, like if you have a good player that is willing to like play games with you and stuff, that is a gift. So like, just never, you know, don't turn down the chance to do that just because you're afraid of getting humiliated or whatever, because you will learn from it, and it's really a lot of fun too. Um, Let's see. Uh, one thing I wanted to get in, uh, I asked Ryder what generally the best thing for Undead to do was if if the Orc player banks. Like, if they if you see one beast here and you don't see an expansion he's banking, um, then really the, the probably the best thing for Undead to do is just creep and use skeletons to kind of keep an eye on him and see try and see if, if he does st try to start a later expansion. Um, because, you know, get get your heroes to, like, 3-3, three, three because, uh, you know, level 2 Nova plus being able to nuke with Coil um, all amounts to you really being able to mess up the Orc army pretty nicely. Um, and at, at the same time, although the Orc player is creeping and, like, high-level Torrent Chieftains are nasty and everything, at, at least at that point in the game, pretty much everything in the Orc army is going to be taking damage while he creeps, um, and, unless he's creeping really conservatively. And that slows him down because he's got to go back to his base, get healing solves, and he's got to spend money on the healing solves, that sort of thing. So um, just try and get, you know, your DK and your Lich to level 3 and proceed to tier 3 as usual. And once you get tier 3, um, just, you know, go kick his ass. Another thing is that if you only see a single bestiary, um, it's... it's probably, not, and he's also not teching, it, it's very unlikely that he's going to go for Mass Wyverns, so that's kind of, strikes me as being kind of an invitation to skip, like, the Gargoyle or the Fiends that you usually build to protect yourself against Wyverns. Um, if, if this is for a ghoul build. Uh, and just go straight to Tier 3 and mass up some Destroyers, because, frankly, they're awesome against the Orc, and you know, they're just one of the best tools that Undead have. So, uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this one, uh, and I'm going to end the audio now. Sorry that my play quality in those games was so abysmal. <laughs> Peace out. Bye. What up, amigos? This is T-Rider, and I'm doing a special audio with Frey. Uh, he's a good friend of mine, so I want to do an audio with him for a while, and we decided that we'd do this cool format that I enjoy where you get both sides. Um, one second, I'm just talking to Frey real quick. Anyway, alright, so uh, we're looking at Orc versus Undead. Um, it's going to be pretty good. We're, we're trying to do two games. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if he's able to uh, or if he's able to manage. Um, the game is starting, but don't worry. I will give you a heads up when my altar is done. So get to where my altar is done. And then once once we're there, then we'll go from there. Um, as deep as that is. So uh, since... since I quit uh, working at WCB Plays. I did a couple articles and I uh, did a bunch of audios and stuff. I've kind of been uh, living the life, you know, just partying it up, enjoying life, just doing everything that I like to do. Uh, I know you, some of you guys miss me, some of you guys want me to throw some more tournaments. I don't know what's in store. I don't know what's in store. Although I am going on a road trip this summer, so that was pretty nice. I made a thread about that. If you want to meet up and hang out, that's all good. So, uh, my outfit's probably about halfway done. I'm just putting them in my racks. Um, yeah, don't worry. I'll, I'll tell you when it's there. Although, I, I really have a history of forgetting. I think I've made, like, a ton of audios where I say, get to my altar, and then I forget my altar, so I end up having to make a new start point. But, I'm pretty sure I'll remember it because it's getting pretty close to done. And... I'm still talking about it, so that's probably gonna be that. Orc versus Undead on TM. It's pretty, uh, pretty good matchup for Orc. Um, I, I certainly wouldn't say that it's quite as bad as Undead's making it out to be. Although, I mean, saying it doesn't favor Orc is a would be a bit ignorant um, on the part of the Orc. However, the, the Undead definitely has some good strategies that are effective and can can work. I just think that. We face a little bit too much moaning about racial imbalance. And it, as far... Oh, my... Oh, shoot! My altar is done. Oh, man. All right, get to where my Rax is done. My Rax is done. All right, my Rax is done right... Right... Right now. Okay, my Rax just finished. So, 
Oh, I can't believe I did that. All right, so my rack is done. Uh, my hero is about ha is about um, two thirds of the way out. Um, I've sent my scout. I can't believe I forgot. I f Jesus, that was pretty bad. <laughs> Alrighty, um, so I'm scouting, and on this map, I, I just like to, to creep up a little bit. Um, I like to creep up a little bit and get my hero. Alright, hero is out. So my hero's just gotten out, and I'm just scouting up a bit. Oh, okay. So, here we go. Just hotkeying everything up real quick. Alright. So here's basically how it works. If uh, I see he's going ghouls, um, then I'm probably either, well, depending on where he spawns and exactly what he's doing, I'll either go for a quick tier 3 with some fortified stuff. Um, if he, if he does go a little slower, or if I'm feeling it, I'll still just do a regular expand. Um, I, if he goes fiends, I'm just gonna do grunt raider, and then just do a mixed army. I like, okay, well, he's gonna harass me here. Um, he, he probably could have coiled that wolf, so I don't know what he's, exactly what he's thinking. I'm gonna go ahead and tech up right now. I'm gonna take this opportunity to tech up. I'm assuming he's going goals just out of the DK harassment. And if you notice, I got an extra peon, and that's something that I kind of like to do. Um, because if he kills my scout peon, I just really don't like having that lack of lumber. And I mean, to be honest, Orc is kind of always low in lumber anyway, and so, I mean, Sonic can't use it. Alright, so really, I'm just trying to put some damage on his DK. I, I just want to make him, like, for force him away a little bit and, you know, just do a little bit of allowing myself some room to creep. Now I'm going to go to his creeps and creep it up. That's my plan. I'm also going to start my shop. And I'm going to start my bro. It's really important to get your shop up because undeads just love to kill that shit. So, all right, here we go. I'm over by his base. And, hey, wait, did they did they redo the map a little bit on, on team map? This looks like it's been redone a little bit. All right, well... Okay, here we go. So now I'm just gonna move in for the kill on the uh, on the wardens. They probably do a little more damage, um, just because they're piercing, and also I'm they are easily killable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and creep those up. And if he tries to jack me, I'm just going to like run away. At this point, though, it's getting a bit it's getting a bit a little late for him to jack me. I'll have to probably kill it anyway or just force him out of there. Um, this this should level me, because I crept out of green. And now I'm going to go harass his workers, because undead workers are really, really, um, oh, I mean, they're just so easy to attack. Vulnerable, I think is what I'm looking for here. I'm going to run the wolf in first, so that it'll take care of the cold tower. I'm going to kill some workers. Although he did do a, he did do a ghoul build, so he probably, ooh, an extra worker, I'm not, I do not like, ooh, he did fiends, what the heck. Okay, that works. Well, in that case, I'm glad I just went in. See, now notice how the wolf took all of the cold tower there? I didn't even have to really, uh... I don't know if new wolves don't want to get it. I mean, the, the wolves took up all the cold tower, so I don't even really have to worry about my losing a grunt or something stupid like that. Uh, I can just get in there, do, do a little harassing, and get out, and then summon new wolves, because it was so late in the spawn. So I, I would highly recommend that. Uh, I'm just creeping up a little bit of greens here. I mean, you can argue that I could probably continue harassing, or at least find out what his death knight's doing. Uh, that's, that's probably not a bad idea. But I'm really just trying to get some experience right now, and here we go. He's coming in after me. See, he has a level 1 DK, so I'm not too worried. Unfortunately, I did a little bit of nubness there with a grunt, and he ended up getting a little bit a little bit behind, and uh, ended up getting attacked. So, he's probably going to creep up now. But, you see, I, I'm going to trade him creeping a little bit for me expanding. I... I